Hey guys, so a little bit of a weird spot to start this video. I'm actually in my car right now because I am headed to St. Louis. If you watched my last video, which was part four of my hamster cage series, I mentioned in that video that that cage was going to be changing. And even though I'm upset that that cage is changing, I promise that the good would outweigh the bad. And that is because I am going to St. Louis today to pick up a new hamster. And I am very, very excited because as you can tell by the title, this is a hairless hamster. Hairless hamsters are pretty rare to find. Their care is not too much different than just like a normal Syrian hamster. But unfortunately, a natural cage just isn't the best option option for a hairless hamster because since they don't have hair to protect them their skin is really delicate so I don't want any like aspen wood shavings or anything in there so unfortunately I did have to rip apart that beautiful natural cage to make it back into like a plastic and just plain carefresh cage just to make it safe for this hairless hamster I'm really upset that I wasn't able to try out that natural cage because I really liked it but hopefully in the future I'll be able to do it again but my friend Kat you probably know her she's tarantula cat here on YouTube she lives in St. Louis and she messaged me the other day because she has a friend that is actually selling two hairless Syrian hamsters and she was gonna take one and of course I said please save the other one for me I'll drive to St. Louis so that is what I'm doing today St. Louis is about a four hour drive from where I live in Kansas City I've been driving for about 30 minutes I'm in I think Independence right now I didn't want to film this right when I woke up because I woke up pretty early to start my drive and I was completely out of it but I just stopped at quick trip to get a little breakfast so I thought I would go ahead and start the vlog here but that is is what we're doing today. We are driving four hours to St. Louis to pick up our brand new hairless Syrian hamster and I am very very excited. I don't know if it's a male or a female yet. I haven't actually seen a picture of them but that is what we're doing so let's continue our trip to St. Louis to pick up our new baby. Okay so I just got to St. Louis. I am at Kat's house and I'm about ready to see my hamster for the first time. Try not to show my messy house. I'm gonna show it all. Okay, so yours is sleeping right there. I don't know where mine is, but oh, that she's, one's yours. way down there. I can see like a leg. It's a very cute leg. They're actually really nice though. Neither one of them has like tried to bite or anything. Oh, you're sleeping. I guess it's the middle of the day. Of course I'm sleeping. I don't want to bother him. So I wasn't able to look at my hamster because he is sleeping. So Kat and I decided to head to Petco because I need to get some hamster food and who knows what else. I thought I would just give you an update on what we're doing because I have to put my mask on because we're still being responsible humans. Drink while your mask is work. So we are going to go into Petco and look around and get some hamster food. have the dinosaur yet. He's adorable. Hi. He's 
So I am back in my car. I am getting ready to leave Cat. I have my hamster back in his little critter keeper. I went ahead and put him in the back seat just because I am going to be listening to music on the way home. And I adjusted my speaker so there's no music coming out of the back and it's only coming out of the front. So of course he'll still hear it, but it will be a little quieter for him back there. So hopefully he can get some sleep. He did settle in pretty quick in his critter keeper. He does have a mixture of the bedding that Cat just gave him along with some of the bedding he came with for his scent. We didn't put too much of the old bedding in because he was on wood shavings, which like I said earlier, wood shavings aren't good for hairless hamsters because they don't have any protection and they could get poked. And I did notice he does have a little bit of irritation around his eyes probably from being on wood. So when he gets home, he will never be on wood shavings again, but hopefully he is going to be sleeping. And then when I get home, it is a four hour drive back to Kansas City. I will show you him in more detail because I've been awful about filming today. I haven't seen Kat since I think of October of last year. So it was just a fun time seeing her. And I just haven't been out of my house much at all because of the virus going around. So it was great to actually get out for once and see my friend. So I was really bad at filming, but I will show you my new hamster more when I get home. So I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. So I am finally home with my new hamster. Here he is. He's still in his little travel container. I'm not going to be showing you his cage set up yet just because it's not exactly how I want it. There's still some stuff I want to get in add before I show it off. I'm also not going to be showing myself the rest of this video because I've been in the car for eight hours, over eight hours today. I am very gross and don't need to be on camera but I thought I would just give you guys a little bit better look at my new hamster. As you can tell, he does have these spots on his back. So those are actually his scent glands. So he is a male hamster. So as you guys know, I am awful at naming. So if you have any name suggestions for this little guy, let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure if I said how old he is, but they did say he was just weaned. So he's probably just like a month or a month and a half old. He is still pretty tiny, definitely just a little baby, but I'm really excited. I've never had a hairless hamster. They're really hard to find. Like I did mention, Kat did take the other hairless hamster they had for sale and she is posting a video over on her channel, Tarantula Cat, so I will link that down below in case one hairless hamster is not enough and you want to see two. Hers is gray and it is super, super adorable also. It's also a male, but he is ready to go back to sleep, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video so I can put him in his new cage. Make sure you're subscribed because my next video should be a complete full cage tour for him, plus a little update to let you guys know how he's settling in. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.